Yo, what's going on guys? This is Daryl. I'm very excited to tell you guys that I joined Profit Gaming. Well, they don't have a YouTube team channel yet, but uh, they're all individual and they're really good players. I played uh, some GBs with them yes last night, uh, which was yesterday, of course. And uh, it worked. It, it was pretty fun. But uh, anyway, um, that's for a different video. I'll talk about that whole entire what I'm going to be doing with team, uh, you know, Profit Gaming and everything with them. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correct, but hopefully I am. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys about what my personal opinion on a, a decent Call of Duty game should be. So, I just want to get this out right away. I've been playing Call of Duty since the very first one. I've seen how we went from, you know, the past, really past wars to present wars to future wars. And in my personal opinion, not trying to be a bystander or anything, I don't like futuristic Call of Duty. I transferred from Halo over to Call of Duty because I didn't like Futuristics. Now we're trying to turn a leave into like Titanfall, Halo, boost jumping, thruster jumping. I don't care what the hell it is. I want boots on the ground and that's what I, I think most of the community wants because obviously we didn't like AW. But uh, I'm going to explain my perfect Call of Duty if I was a developer how I would make it. First of all, I would want the community's feedback, of course, obviously. If I was a developer, I would want that, you know. I would make the Call of Duty as the community would want it, but not as extreme as, like, Sniper's overpowered and it's the best gun in the game. Uh, for an example, I would have a lot more than just four snipers in a Call of Duty. I would have a lot more. I'd have, like, as many snipers as an ARs, because obviously there's a huge sniping community. Uh, for the pub stomping community, I would have things for them. I throw back guns every like week you know I put different guns in a playlist or something like that for them or bring in different guns each week you know and uh, get a lot of gaming content out there you know I, I want to have a Call of Duty where you're mostly giving back to your your people that bought your game because if you don't have that you don't have a consumer support then you really don't go anywhere in, in general gaming develop development development um, I would love to, you know, make it where there was individual playlists for each individual community. Like, switch the playlist each week. I would love to bring back third person mode. You know, obviously in Modern Warfare 2 we had that. That was the best mode by far in my opinion. After Modern Warfare 2 the community apparently didn't like it and it went away. I wouldn't make every gun overpowered. There would be a balancing act every week. I would balance everything. You know, I would look at the stats and see who's using what. In my opinion, the most amount of people using the same exact gun, that that gun's overpowered. And it's tiny little bit. For sniping, I would allow quick scoping, obviously, because that's been in every Call of Duty. Um, I would put aim assist on the sniper rifles. I don't understand why Treyarch went towards the decision of taking aim assist out of BO3 for snipers. The Snipers is the most underpowered weapon in any type of game. It's because, you know, it's a one-shot kill and people say it's overpowered. It's because all the ARs and the, you have small maps. And ARs and submachine guns can just instant melt you. You know, I would make the health, you know, able to where you can turn on people. The Snipers would still be one-shot. I'd have a lot more, you know, bolt-action Snipers than spray and pray Snipers, obviously. Now... As a developer, if I was a developer for Treyarch, it, it would make it. I would make it to where you know, obviously, the community means more than the money. Uh, for an example, Treyarch makes has like I think it's 15 billion or 50 billion dollars. I wouldn't force upon DLC all the time. I would not never force upon DLC all the time because obviously, if you have 15 billion dollars, you really don't need to care about money. You know, in personal opinion, you know, Treyarch is doing this just because I think it's Activision's fault. Activision is a publisher. Treyarch is the game developers. The publishers more than likely have the more say of anything. Also, if I was a developer, supply drops would never be a thing. Uh, I would personally give back, like, map packs and stuff for free to your fans because obviously they're there supporting you and they gave you all that money in general. You know, I feel that... 
I would put out a Call of Duty game that's finished. I wouldn't put out a half-assed reskin Call of Duty. I would literally, if I say innovative and new, it would be innovative and new. You know, it wouldn't be a reskin, obviously, of all the Call of Duties. Also, one of the big things I would change, first of all, if I was a Call of Duty CEO or something, I would make sure we have a brand new engine. Not an engine we've been playing on since I think it was 1999 or 2000, whatever the fuck it is. But I, I would make sure that we would have a new engine, obviously that the developers should pay attention to us uh, because obviously we are the consumers anyway this has been Dauro I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, drop that like and subscribe and your opinion on what I said